after I upgraded my spindle and quill assembly, I went to the novatechnotool.com website trying to find more information about the Vulcan. So I went to uh, support, help center, and search our articles FAQ database. There I typed in Voyager versus Vulcan. Sure enough, there's an article that outlines some interesting things. Vulcan is a metal working variable drill press, which we already knew. It does have improved double V groove bearings, high precision ER32, three more stable combination spindle, which is why we went for the upgrade in uh, the first video. Metal working table, gravity fed cooling system, improved firmware with expanded speed chart. Okay, now that's interesting. The Vulcan has a metalworking base speed chart, which expanded from the Voyager and has new options for drilling, which we already have, uh, and milling, face milling, and reaming. That's awesome. The user will select the operation, then select the drill bit type used for material, high-speed steel, carbide, etc. It will give a material with the accompanying surface fit per minute. Once you have selected the SFM, you will be able to select your drill bit size, which also shows the speed. This version will also set the default max speed to 5500 RPM. That's for really small bits. All right, let's check it out. The speed chart has drilling for twist bits, high speed steel and coated cobalt steel, solid carbide and milling. HSS, uncoated carbide, coated carbide, face milling, carbide inserts, reaming, that just seems like uh, a lot of odd stuff kind of mixed up into one bucket, but okay. The materials with SFM are uh, custom SFM, aluminum, brass, bronze, okay. Stainless plastic, those are the materials that uh, we can machine, okay. All SFM provided are on the guide, guideline basis only, blah, blah, blah. Of course, yeah, do we find it helpful? Yes. So then I started thinking, how do I upgrade my firmware from Voyager to Vulcan? And I went back onto the, their homepage, support, huh, upgrade your DVR firmware. All right, let's see what's there. Scroll down and here's something interesting. Voyager DVR for US, Australia and New Zealand market has the latest firmware release dated April 10th, 2018. Okay, Europe probably has more metric stuff than uh, American Imperial. And then under Vulcan, I see that their release of the firmware, the latest one is December 11th, 2017. Okay, that's like four to five months apart from uh, Voyager, a little bit older, but if it has all those materials for the tools and the materials I can work on, I decided to give it a shot. Scrolling down a little more, you can see that there is a very uh, a comprehensive YouTube video about upgrading your firmware. One item you will need is a typical printer USB A to B type cable. Uh, if you lost the one that came with your Voyager, you can get one on Amazon for five bucks or get one from your old printer. Now that we have the Voyager DVR in the firmware upgrade mode, we can go ahead and update the firmware. It takes a few seconds. Upgrade successful. Now after that done, I'm going to hit verify. Verify successful. All good. So now we can quit from here. Unplug it. Now that it's fully upgraded, we can turn the drill press on. And after it boots up, let's go to the menu and see what new options we have. So under the speed chart, I go in. And now, I, uh, aside from the drilling, I also have end milling, face milling, and reaming operations. So let's go to drilling, see uh, what's there. High-speed steel encoded ones, cobalt, solid carbide, that's, that's pretty awesome. And then you have a selection of materials that is definitely more metalworking-like. 
So the firmware upgrade went well, all the functions work properly. If you like this video, put your likes down below and subscribe to my channel.